Hello and welcome to the study of acoustics. My name is Caleb Gomez and I'll be taking you through this podcast today. We use acoustics daily even if we don't really notice. They determine how loud our voices should be and how well we interpret sound and greatly affect recording in a studio. They can help carry the sound so that the ear can pick it up and understand it. The best acoustics are actually found in churches and concert halls, anywhere with high ceilings and curved interior. The high ceilings of a cathedral allow sound waves to rise, whereas pews give the sound waves room to flow over, limiting the clutter of sound. When it comes to acoustics, less is more. The ear cannot interpret the sound if there's too much disturbance. Smaller, curved spaces are better to listen and record music in. A cathedral with elliptical-shaped walls can have hot spots where the sound is most prevalent and most crisp. This is typically where most people sit to get the most out of the choir. In certain rooms, sound waves are known to refract off of walls. Uh, depending on the speed, a wave can refract or it could have a lingering effect and cause a wave to be heard even if it's at low volume. The length will change, but the frequency remains the same. Hallways allow for lots of noise and lingering because of how close the walls are. Uh, because they go in two directions, front and back, sound waves have nowhere to go. They, that causes overlapping. If the walls of a room are close enough, sound waves can be more deliberate, and this eliminates the lingering or echo. Uh, this gives you a better, uh, more crisp sound when recording. Acoustics have a role everywhere. They allow animals to communicate a long distance, like whales or dolphins do underwater. Without acoustics, humans wouldn't speak, uh, be able to hear, understand sounds. In physics, we call it psychoacoustics. Uh, the study of psychoacoustics provides insights into sounds, frequencies, etc. Through manipulating acoustics when recording music, producers and artists alike can harness optimal sound quality if the acoustics of a room are taken into account and used for the benefit of the recording. This is better for one take and gives you a better, cleaner, crisper sound. We measure sound waves in hertz, whereas the level or volume is measured in decibels. When talking about decay and energy curves, the best way to measure them is in milliseconds because the quantities are so, so small. When referring to recording, audio, acoustics, and manipulation are vital. Modern technology allows us to form and reform audio elements, but the original sound is what you really want. In this next video clip, I'll show you exactly what I mean by what sound really boils down to. When recording music, like vocals, drums, acoustic guitar in this case, the best place to do it is in an enclosed, isolated, smaller room. You don't want to be recording in any kind of place with, with narrow walls, um, like a hallway, for example, with two parallel walls that run forward and back, one straight line. They bounce off the walls, and it just creates an overlapping, discordant sound. Now, in, in an enclosed area like my uh, my closet, for example, you, there's there's no echo, there's no refraction, there's there's no need to um, add any kind of element after you record because everything that you hear in a place like this is is essentially what you get. Uh, for example. <laughs> Immediately when I stop playing, there's no echo. It's crisp, clean. You get the most out of every note and every chord, which is really what you want when you're in the recording industry. You don't want to have to waste time adding things to a track when all you really need is to record in a nice place.